Okay, so we are getting somewhere with this setup right here, but we have a few issues that are, let's just try and look at one of them right here. Notice, boom, 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 I'm getting some exceptions down here. Now, we can start discussing what this actually is. There are huge tutorials out there. I actually found a few one. You can go and read about this error right here. It has something to do with um, the DOM trying to set this value while it's updating and stuff like that. So we, let's get away from that. This is, we're going to make some crazy hacks if we want to solve this. So instead, let's just try and solve it by actually fixing our code right here. Now, the huge issue right here is actually the change picture right here. That's why the problem arises. Now, I know why this happens. The problem is right now for me that I'm trying to work on this inside my code right here. I'm trying to work with the image and there's some kind of delay because some of this is asynchronous. So what can we do instead to kind of fix this? Now, a very cool solution is that also makes the code easier is to delete this function. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to delete this function in a second. What we're going to do first is I'm going to jump into my code right here. And right now I've set my image right here just as the source. Now I can actually instead do a check right here and say if I am hovering, then I won't want to use one specific image. And if I'm not hovering, then I want to use another image. So I'm going to put in here if I'm if is hovering, is ho is is hovering. There we go. I'll just put in the question mark right here and say if we are hovering right now, then I want to show another image. And the image I want to show is actually this image right here. Now, I just got a small note from students saying, why are you putting in all these dot, 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 dots? He's right. I'm kind of putting them in to kind of jump through the different folders, right? But since we're looking for a very specific assets folder, we don't need the dots. You don't need them in there. So let's just try and avoid them in our new code. So let's just try and copy this into our code here, just pretty much saying, if we are hovering, then do this. And if not, then add the image, right? So this is pretty much just saying, if you're hovering, then use the image we got right here. Or else you'll just use this image. Now, I can just remove all of these dots like I just said. We don't need those anymore because of that nice student telling me you could put this in instead. Thanks. And uh, I'll just save this and see if this actually fixed the bug right here. So now we're not, we're actually still using the, the upload change pick right here. Let's just get that out of the way, the change picture. There it's gone because that was actually what caused the error for me. Let's try and do this again. And let's try and just add an image here and just we're not getting there anymore. And the animation still works. Sweet. That was a nice change. A very important box to actually fix right here. That bug is out of the way. What else do we have? Well, we also have kind of a, a bug that says, let's try and jump into the code right here and remove this change picture because I'll never use that again because it was pure failure. Now we have another bug right here. If I get an error right now, we are actually not going back and removing the hovering. So let me try and show you what I mean right here. The second bug that I want to fix, if I go up here and drop an SVG picture, it stays on this upload picture. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go back to the actual current picture. Try and jump back to the code. And let's just scroll down and see, this is the reason that we kind of get the error, but it doesn't go back. So the only thing I need to do is kind of say, when this actually happened, I'm showing the error. And then I'm just going to say hovering back to false right here, just to explain we're not hovering anymore because we just dropped the file, right? Jumping back to the code, let's see if that worked. Jumping the SVG again, boop, and the picture's back. Sweet, another bug fixed. Yay! What else do we have? Well, actually right now when we drop an actual new picture, we're not going back to the hovering mode either. Hmm, that's a problem. So let's just copy this in here as well and just say, when we actually got the picture back, I just want to remove the hovering mode. Let's see if that works. Jumping back to the code, putting in an image right here, boop, boom, we got the image back. So now that problem is out of the way as well. What else do we have? Well, I'm kind of annoyed right now when I drop my image like this, it just stays there and boops, pops up. I want some kind of loading screen when it kind of tries to load the image. Another thing that annoys me is when I refresh my page, you have kind of a delay. Notice, boom, there was the picture. It was kind of a small delay. Let's try and fix that. We're going to use some very cool stuff here. We're going to jump in here. There's actually on the image, you can actually listen for when the image is loaded. Yes, you can. So I'll add a small load right here. And that load is just going to kind of say that when the image is loaded, call a function. And I just want to call a function. So I would just want to say when the image is loaded, just say is source loaded equals true, right? That's just a property I'm going to set in my code. So I just have a going to have a simple property in the TypeScript code that says when the source is loaded, just set it to true right here. Jumping into the TypeScript code, scrolling up right here, and let's just add that in here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to add a new Boolean value right here. 
that's just going to set this to true when the source is actually loaded. So what do I want to do until it's loaded? Well, first of all, I don't want to show the image. So let's just hide the image by using a property called hidden. You're getting so much good information right here. <laughs> I just showed you another property and I just showed you another method. Oh my God. Uh, we'll just set this to source loaded right here. Just explaining that we don't want to show this guy until the image is actually loaded. Let's try and see what this does for us. Oops, I think I turned it around. So let's just do when it's not loaded, I want to hide it, right? So I don't want to hide it when it's actually loaded. So let's see what happens here. It'll show up, boop, and there it just showed up. Good, one more thing, because that pretty much means that I want to show a progress bar here while I wait for it to load, right? Oh, I want to use a progress spinner here. There we go, we have a progress spinner available like this, and we're going to use that. Now, first of all, we need to import the progress spinner module right here. Let's jump into our user module and just add that module right here. Yungi. There we go. Now we have that module available. Let's jump back and see how we can actually make this spinner into a reality. Boop. Just adding this. Hmm. Looks nice. Looks easy. I like it. I like it. Let's just add that spinner right below this guy and say, we are going to actually not show this spinner. So we'll just do an NGF. We'll, we won't show the spinner as long as the source is loaded, right? Or else we'll actually show the spinner. Let's try and see what happens here. Jumping back to the code and let's see what happens. While it loads. Ah, oh, man, I turned around again. <laughs> let's just turn that around. We're actually going to show the spinner if it's not loaded. Well, Boolean values, it's a pain for my brain right now. It's late here. So there we go. It showed the spinner, but notice it placed it in the wrong location and it also showed a huge spinner Let's fix that. So first of all, the reason it placed it in the wrong location is we didn't explain that this is actually a mad card avatar that we're showing right here. Let's just put that in there first. Now notice it'll place it in the right location now, just making the spinner, boop, but it was too big, right? We only want it to be 40 pixel-ish, just like the picture is. How can we fix that? So let's just have a look at the spinner API here and scroll down you can see there's something called the diameter right here. So we're going to add that to our spinner and just let's just set it to 40 for now and see how that looks. Jumping back to the code, let's see how that looks. Uh, spinner and oh, that looks amazing. It's almost like I made it myself. Oh, wow, it's perfect. That's just what how I wanted it. I really like this. So there's just one more thing I'm not satisfied with right here and that's when I drop this image right here. It just stays in the gray area and then pops up with the image. I want the twirly there as well, right? I want spinner there as well. So let's just try and fix that. And because of the way I made this code now, it's a very easy fix. What I need to do is kind of say, when I upload the new image, when I kind of drop that file, upload the image, I only want to go in here and I want to say, this dot source loaded is going to be equal to a false. And that pretty much means that now the system knows that when I'm dropping this guy, it's going to hide this image just like it's doing now. And when it's done, it's going to show the image again. Let's try and see if it works. If it works, I'll be a happy dude, a happy dude. And it worked. I'm a happy, happy. Okay, I will never sing again, I promise you that. But it works and we have some twirl, we have some information. We made a pretty strong profile page. I think we're going to end it here and start working on our file system. See you next time. Have fun.